Welcome back. We have run a regression with price as a response variable and square feet, brick, and neighborhood as the explanatory variables in the second video. Today, we are going to test if adding the variable bedrooms will lead to a better model with higher explanatory power. Let's load house price dataset. Go to linear regression and select price as a response variable and square feet, bedrooms, brick, and neighborhood as the explanatory variables. If you want to make a discontinuous selection of variables, you can press Command and click on Mac and then Control click on Windows. The summary shows R squared is 0.794 and the adjusted R squared is 0.785. Both are slightly higher than the model without the variable bedrooms, but the difference is very small. So we are wondering if adding bedrooms will make the model statistically significantly better than the original one. So we choose bedrooms as a variable to test. A new block of output is added to the summary. Model 1 is the original model, and the model 2 is a new model with variable bedrooms. The third line lists R squared 0.79 for model 1 and 0.794 for model 2. We will use F test to test if we need to include the variable bedrooms in the new model. The null hypothesis is that R squared for model 2 is equal to the R squared for model 1. And the alternative hypothesis is that R squared for model 2 is greater than the R squared in model 1. Since the p-value is 0.163, greater than the significant level 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Based on the sample, including the variable bathrooms doesn't make a significant difference in the model. Please note, when you compare models that differ by only one coefficient, the p-value for the f-test and the p-value for the regression coefficient will be the same. F-test is used here, and we also have the default F-test in the regression summary. You may wonder what the connection between these two F-tests is. Actually, it is very simple. The default F-test is equivalent to add all the variables in the box of variables to test. And now model 1 doesn't include any explanatory variables. The null hypothesis of the default F-test is that all coefficients in model 2 are equal to 0. It turns out this is equivalent to compare R squared for model 1, which is equal to 0, to the R squared for model 2. See, the F statistics are the same. Because the p-value for the f-test is less than 0.001, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that adding variables in model 2 significantly increase the explanatory power of the model. That is all for today. Thank you for watching.